DJ Pro's 5.2 update improves the already amazing waveforms in the DJ Pro app. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the waveforms in this amazing app, whether you use the iPad, the phone, the laptop, or even when you have a controller plugged in and you're using hardware mode. We'll start with the iPad. So this is what you are going to see. We are in Pro mode on the iPad. I'll show you all the modes, but we'll start with Pro mode. One thing. One difference between the laptop and the iPad that I found that is a little disappointing is, watch this. So now we have two tracks loaded up. I'm going to move the crossfader from the left to the right. You see, nothing's happening with our waveforms. And then if I do the volume up and down, nothing's happening with our waveforms. But if we, if we do the same thing on the laptop... If we move the crossfader all the way to the right, the waveforms stay bright on the active track and kind of dim down on the inactive track. If you have it in the middle, both tracks are the same brightness. And if you go to the left, it dims it down. And it does the same thing with the volume slider. I think this is a really cool feature to see how much volume you have in each track. And I wish they had it for the iPad too, but I have not figured out how to turn it on on the iPad. With the waveforms here, we get a hidden drop-down menu. This may be hard to find. If you watched my videos before, you know I love these hidden drop-down menus. So right here, there's the one. It's kind of hard to see. You get a drop-down menu. The same thing on the other deck. The two represents deck two, and we get a drop-down menu over there. So with this drop-down menu, I just want to show you the new stuff first. So down here where it says Nero Mix Tracks, right now it is on one. So that means the whole everything of the song you see in the waveforms. But now the cool thing is we could separate it. So we could do two narrow mix tracks. So it's going to show the drums as separate. So you could just play the drums. Now that's the drums with everything. And if you want to isolate a certain stem, you press it and it's going to put only that stem. So this one's highlighted. It's only going to play the music and the vocals and no drums. Now real quick. We could go down, we could do three. So now we have drums, drums, instruments, and then we have vocals. So again, we only have vocals here. So it sounds so smooth, you can't tell that they took stuff out. It's the best stem separating out of any DJ app, in my opinion, and they keep improving it, and it sounds great. And now we have more control. We could see everything with our waveforms. And then next, you could go all the way up and have four bands. So it's going to be drums, guitar, music, and vocals. So now in anywhere you could see the waveforms on the app, you have this control of these waveforms. You have this control of Neuromix. So we're in pro mode. I'm just going to switch to classic mode. Now we have our waveforms down here. You're going to have to reset it. So every time you switch to the different modes, it doesn't save it. But you can access it like that in classic mode. You could access it in pro mode. Whichever mode that you're in, now we have all of this control. And it is the same thing on the laptop, which wherever you could see waveforms, if you see waveforms, and not the waveforms at the top that represent how far along the track you are, but waveforms that you can interact and scratch with. You can use Neuromix and separate it all the way up to four bands. So whether you're on the iPad or on the phone, wherever you find yourself in the app and you can use the waveforms, you could separate it that way, Don't no matter what device you are on. Another thing you could do with the waveforms, and again, I'm not sure if these are new features, but it's going to be a short video anyway, so I'll just show you everything you need to know. So now in the waveforms, we have options. We could do high contrast or low contrast, which makes it much easier to see if you're in a darker environment. You can get rid of the jog wheels. So some people, some DJ softwares aren't as jog wheel heavy, so you might be more comfortable without jog wheels, and you could still scratch by moving the waveforms back and forth. So you can get rid of your jog wheel. And if you're wondering where your jog wheel is, if you don't see it, that's how you put it back. Next, we could do vertical waveforms. Again, depending on which software you're used to, it may be easier and may feel more natural to you using vertical waveforms. So that's how you could do it down in this drop-down menu. I've covered slice and slip, slip in a lot of other videos, so I'm not going to get into that. Those are not new features. 
So this is pro mode. We're going to switch over to classic mode. And the same thing to open your waveforms is over here in the middle. And then now the new feature is we can get all of these Nero Mix tracks. It looks really cool. They were able to fit them and it's really nice. We got a little bit less features because the waveforms are smaller. Now I am going to go to hardware mode, press the middle button. Hardware mode. So you can see the waveforms are in the middle now. They lose some of the features that you'd probably have on your controller so you could see more on the screen, which I think is really cool. So here we have our waveforms are over here. And again, in this view mode, we could separate Neuromix. And then the biggest thing is they changed it when you put your iPad into vertical mode. Now we have our waveforms here. Looks really nice in this view mode. So DJ Pro has, with the update, made their already amazing waveforms even better and they improve neural mix and if you want to learn more about dj pro's amazing neural mix check out this video over here thank you